Hello, YouTube Slime here with Hobbies of a Man once again, and today we are doing another manga review. Now, today's manga review is going to be over Prison School, Volume 3. Now, this is written by Ak Akira Hiramoto. Uh, it's published by Yen Press. Uh, oh, wait, as you guys can see right there. The demographic is Seinen, and this would be a sex comedy, I guess. Uh, this does have an adaptation, and I recently learned that it has a live-action adaptation. And I watched an episode of it. It was pretty funny. Um, I think I still like the manga better, but it's cool if you want to see a live-action version. And yeah, so I have reviewed volumes 1 and 2, if you guys can find them up there if you want to. Um, if you just met me from this video, please go check out those first and then come back to this one. I do not want to get caught in like someone getting mad at spoilers. So now the premise here is continuing from where book two left off. The boys are in deep crap. They're in trouble. The expel boys operation is underway and might just succeed. And it's kind of concerning for these guys, right? Because they want to stay in school because it would be a bad idea to get expelled like that. And yeah, so the plot line here, it's good. It continues. It's well done. It ups the stakes a lot, and it kind of changes from, like, everyone being against them into, like, specific people being against them and other people being for them. It's really well done. I think the personal tension rises a bit between our characters, and it's well done. The operation of expelling the boys is in full swing, and it's just about to get, you know... Uh, well done or succeed right so um they gotta find a way to sabotage it and there's turncoats and there's spies and it just has it all and it's really well done i really enjoyed it i thought it was cool how other male characters finally got a female character to like interact with them beyond you know just the president and the vice president hating them because we, we really were only focused on one guy, and now we have another guy as well with one of the female characters. And it's cool. I like it. I think it works. I think it brings a little bit more to the table, and I'm really excited to see what happens in the next one. But given that most of this is just comedy, I can't really say that much because then it ruins a comedy, right? And it kind of loses its effect if you already know what's going on. So that's kind of it for the plot line here. Um, characters, basically all the same ones, except for Ansu, who is this delinquent girl. And she initially starts as someone that's part of the Shadow Council or whatever. And she's trying to get the guys kicked out. But then when she talks to one of the guys and interacts with him enough, she realizes that he's a cool person and that it's not horrible for him to be at school. And so she kind of regrets her decision and tries to fix it. And it works really nicely. I really like her character. I want to see more of her. Uh, world building, there was no change. Art, basically all the same. Really good stuff. Really enjoy the expressions. And it's so over the top. It might even be grotesque at times, but still really enjoyable. Um... I rate this a 3.5. Well, actually, no, I rate this a 4 out of 5. I think it was a lot. I, I enjoyed this more than the last volume, but I don't know if it's still, like, the greatest thing ever. I'm kind of running low on steam for this series. I'm enjoying it, but there's not enough happening where, like, not enough new things happening where I'm enjoying it that much, and so I'm not really sure... If I want to continue this series. I mean, I really enjoy it. And I think it's cool. But I think that it's already reached, like, the maximum potential. And I don't know if it can go any further than that. So, I don't know. If you guys have read more than the f first three volumes, let me know if it picks up again and it gets better. Or if it's just more of the same. Because if it's just more of the same, I don't think I'm collecting more of it. I think... At this point, I'm satisfied. I found something that was funny. I enjoyed something that was funny. And that's that. I don't need to go further into the series if it's just going to be the same. So that's it for me. I think that's where I'm at with this. It's a really short video. I don't really have much to say because so far into this series with nothing new happening, it's really just like more of the same stuff. 
So that's basically it for me. I recommend this if you like the first two. Um, if you didn't, well, don't read this one. <laughs> but books one and two were pretty good. They're pretty enjoyable. I think book one was the best one out of the three that I've read so far. Um, similar titles, I can't really think of any. But uh, I think this is a pretty niche uh, kind of genre, at least in English. This might be the only uh, book in the genre that I can think of. But uh, yeah, no similar titles that I can think of off the top of my head. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, I guess. So I'll probably have a different video up today since this one's so short. Uh, if this goes up in the morning, the other one will go in the afternoon, let's say 10 and 3. So, you know, stay tuned and watch my video later today. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought about the story and if it gets better after volume three, because like I said before, if it's more of the same, I don't think I'll buy another one. Now, that's it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.